One of these players has a chance to win a gold necklace, a large screen television, a 35 millimeter camera, or a trip to Aruba. And continue in for cash prizes, including a brand new Toyota Celica and fifty thousand dollars in cash. Total over one hundred thousand dollars up for grabs tonight on sale of the century. And now here's your host, the star of sale of the century, Brandon Scrum. And hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Sale of the Century right here at MVG Productions. Glad to have you with us once again. Just a couple episodes left before our big championship game to wrap up Season 1. Got three players here ready to go at it to see if they can add to their season total winnings. So let's beat them now. Starting with our first player, this is the third time on the show here. She's got $72,135. It's Sunny. Sunny, how are you doing? Hello. All right, you ready to go at it once again? Awesome. Well, good luck to you today. Our second player up is AJ. This is his seventh time on the show this season. He's got himself $34,090. Hi, Brandon. Good. You, ready? you ready to see if you can get to the bonus round today, AJ? Yes, All right. Well, sir. good luck to you. And our third player is this is his sixth time on the show. Currently our third place overall. He's got $247,206. It's Rodney. Rodney, how we doing? I am well, sir. Are you ready to go out some trivia? Yeah, I want to take over um, take first place. We'll see all what right, happens. Well, good luck to all of you guys. You know how this works. You're going to yell your position number to buzz in. Sonny, you're one. AJ, you're two. Rodney, you're three. And person with the most money at the end of the game goes on to our winner's big money board for a shot at over $100,000 in cash and prizes. So let's get things started off by giving you each 20 bucks in your bank. All right, and get ready, because here comes your first question for $5. Players, who was Batman's boy wonder? One. Sonny. Robin is correct, and you jump to 25. What holiday is celebrated on October 31st? One. Rodney. Halloween, Halloween is correct, and you go up, jump up to 25. Players, what crop did ex-president Jimmy Carter famously farm? Is it bananas, tobacco, Who? AJ? Peanuts. Yes, he was a peanut farmer. You're right. All three-way tire 25. What is the home city of the NBA team known as the Knicks? Two. AJ. New York. New York Knicks. That's correct. You go up to 30. What name is given to the mouse created by Walt Disney in night A Sonny? Mickey Mouse is correct. You go up to 30. It is now time for our first instant bargain of the day. Player in the league gets a chance to buy bargain price merchandise. Sales surprise with a cash bonus can pop up at any time. Uh, Sonny and AJ, you both have the lead with $30, but only one of you gets to buy this. Buzz in when you hear the low sales century price if you'd like to buy. Ooh, a flex steel sofa. Beautiful flex steel sofa looks home, good at any home. Normally priced at one thousand nine hundred eleven dollars. Yours today on sale this century for just six dollars. And you know what? We're gonna make it a little easier for you guys to buzz it. If you want to buy, drop it a dollar off the price, make it the price of one question, five bucks for a nineteen hundred dollar sofa. Buzz it if you want to buy. Going once. Going twice. No sale. No sale. All right. Sales. Put. Nobody takes the <laughs> sofa. So any AJ hold on to their five dollar lead over Rodney as we go to this next question for five dollars. All right, players. What legendary outlaw led a band of merry men that lived in Sunny? Robin Hood is correct. You got it. Go up to thirty-five. Which of these is a nickname for basketball star Michael Jordan? Is it Air One, three, two. Rodney? Air, Air Jordan is correct. You go up to 30. Right, click on the buzzer today. I like it. What part of Pinocchio's body grows when he tips? Rodney. Three, two. No. That was right. You go up to 35. Thank you, 
And it's time for our first fame game of the day. We're not playing for cash, but a pick of the fame game board. We got prizes, surprises, and most of all, the money cards up on the board. Big $10 money card goes on the board as we look for this famous thing. This famous thing buzz in when you think you know it. I am a type of material. I was developed in the 1930s. I'm water resistant. I require little to no ironing. I'm strong, tough, Rodney. Me. I'm going to take a guess. Is it polyester? No, I'm sorry. It's not polyester. You don't lose your money, but you're out of the rest of the fame game question. I continue on for Sonny and AJ. I require little to or no ironing. I'm strong, tough, and flexible. I can be soft and silky to the touch. My fibers are used for parachutes, nets, and sports rackets. American troops gave away stockings made of me. Sonny. No, I'm sorry, it's not Kevlar. So AJ, you get to hear the rest of the question all for you. I'll continue. Uh, my fibers are used for parachutes, nets, and sports rackets. American troops gave away stockings made from me. Women use clear nail polish to stop me from running. What am I with the initial N? Net. Say that again. Is it netting? No, I'm sorry. It's not I netting. Know. I know. All right. As long as soon as you said um, pantyhose, it's fucking nylon. Well, it, it is sorry. not. It is. It is I nylon. Know. What we're looking uh, for. So okay. So we can't do that. So AJ, unfortunately, since you're the last one to buzz in. You won't be able to jump in on this new fame game question, so we'll continue on. Again, we are looking for another famous thing here. Famous thing here. And actually, no, it would be fair to let all three of you buzz in. So all three of you back in with a new fame game question here. Uh, buzz in when you think you know it. I'll fix it here in a second. All right. All right. Looking for a famous yeah. thing. I am a favorite food. Most homes have me in the cupboard. I can be used in sauces and sweets. I am full of protein. I'm usually eaten as a spread. I can be smooth or crunchy. One. Sunny. Pe peanut butter. Peanut butter is the correct answer. You got it. I can be smooth or crunchy and a popular candy combines me with chocolate. One of my personal favorites. All right, Sonny, you got control of the fame game board. Nine numbers up there. Which one would you like? Number six. Behind the number six, we have... Ooh, a trip to Las Vegas weekend. We get a Las Vegas valued at $750. Well done. So enjoy that enjoy that trip for you. And now we continue on with the game. Sonny's at 35. Roddy's at 35. AJ, just one question back. And this next question for $5. Players, the real world is a series on what TV network? One. Sonny. MTV. Ooh, excuse me. MTV is the correct answer. You got it. You go up to 40. Oh, got a hiccup during the middle of that. Uh, oh. Mr. Ed. Uh, for some reason, I'm getting so confused. All right, here's the next question. I did the same thing. Which of these is not a country in Africa? Again, which of these is not a country in Africa? Burkina Faso, Saudi Arabia, Ivory Coast, or <laughs> AJ? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is correct. You jump up to 35. All right. Finish the name of this restaurant chain. International House of... One. Sunny. Pancakes. Pancakes is correct. You jump up to 45. And the International House of Pancakes, uh, again, great restaurant and a lot of great deals. And the fact that you can still get unlimited pancakes for like $4.99, best thing on the planet there. At least to me. All right, but Sonny's got a ten dollar lead. We're gonna see how things go as we continue with more sale of the century right after this. So stay with us. Back on sale of the century. Now it's time for another instant bargain. Sonny with a ten dollar lead over AJ and Rodney. You have a chance to buy this. A trip to Venice. You want to guess the fly round trip coach from Los Angeles to beautiful Venice, Italy for a six-night stay. 
Enjoy the Mediterranean atmosphere and all of the great things that Venice has to offer. This trip is normally priced at $6,847, but today on sale the century, it's yours for just ten bucks. You know what? I know you always wanted to go on a trip, so we're, what we're going to do, we're knocking three dollars off the price to get you to buy. You'll still have a three dollar lead over AJ and Ron if you want to take a six thousand eight hundred dollar trip to Venice. Buzz in if you want it. Going once. Seven dollars. Going once. Going twice. She's buying! There you go. Enjoy that trip to Venice. Almost seven thousand dollars worth. I think it's one of the most expensive Items we've given away during the um, instant bargains this season. I think so. There you go. Enjoy that trip. And we get back to the questions with five. Sonny's got the lead 38. AJ and Ronnie at 35. This question for five. What was the traffic cop chief Don Matthews catchphrase in the TV series Highway Patrol? Is it beam me up, Scotty? Let's be careful out there. Nanu Nanu or 10 4? One. Sonny. Two. No, I'm sorry, it's incorrect. It's actually 10 4. 10 4 is what we're looking for. So you lose five there, drop into second place behind AJ and Rodney. All right, players, what hard white material forms the tusk of an elephant? One. Sunny. Three. Ow. What was it? Ivory. Ivory is correct. You get the five right back, back to 38. What is the, the official language of Austria? Is it Australian, German, Swiss, or Austrian? Two. AJ. Austrian. What was that? Austrian. No, I'm sorry. They actually speak German. German's their native language there, so you lose five on that one. Drop down to 30. What country was the setting for the TV series The Waltons? Is it the USA, Canada, New Zealand, or Australia? One. Sunny. US. Huh? The U.S. is right. You got up to 43. All right. On the sit TV sitcom Seinfeld, for what Major League Baseball team did George Costanza work? Is it the Mets, the Red Sox, the Yankees, or the Dodgers? AJ. Yankees. Yankees is correct. You got up to 35. It's time now for our second fame game of the day. We're adding a $15 money card to the board. As we look for this famous place, this famous place, buzz in when you know it. I am a North American city. I was founded in 1642. I'm the only North American city built around a mountain. I host an international jazz festival each year. Paris is the only city with more French speakers. I am the second largest Canadian city. I'm located on the St. Lawrence River. I hosted the 1976 Olympic Games and I am Quebec's largest city. Where am I with the initial M? Two. AJ. Montreal. Montreal is the correct answer. You've got it. Mm -hmm. You don't get it beaten, AJ. All right, AJ. <laughs> Two big money cards up there. What number would you like? What number has Six. been taken? Six. The only one been taken so far. Um, let's go with seven. Number seven. Behind the number seven, we have the turbo button. Ah, back again. All right. Here we go again. Yep. <laughs> this is the first time I think we've had turbo back-to-back -back episodes here. The turbo portions show means the next three questions, players, are going to be worth $10 added to your bank. However, if you miss the question, it's going to cost you $10. It's a high-risk, high-reward here as we enter the turbo portion of Sale the Century. Buzz in when you think you know the answers. Here comes your first question in the turbo round. What was Jacqueline Kennedy Anassis' maiden name? Is it... Three. Rodney. Bouvier. Bouvier is correct. You get $10. All right, which of these is not a city in Texas? Austin, Dallas, El Paso, or Little Rock? Three. Rodney. Little Rock is correct. You go up to 55. All right. What, which abbreviation on an invitation asks the guests to contribute to the drinks? Sonny. No, I'm sorry. It's incorrect. It's actually, uh, what, what invitation asks the guests to contribute to the drinks? It's BYOB. I thought you said abbreviation. 
I'll bring you all back. Yes. Uh, you did. you didn't yeah, finish the rest of there, so it cost you 10, dropped down to 40, 33 there. And a big turbo round for Ronda gives him the lead, but there's still plenty more game to play as we have more Sale of the Century right after this. Stay tuned. Back on sale of the century now. It's time for today's instant cash. Rodney, with a $20 lead, you have a chance to play the instant cash. Today's instant mm. cash jackpot mm. is worth $11,000. The other two boxes will net you $500 in cash each. For the cost of your lead of $20, you can go for $11,000. But you know what? I know you. And I know that you have not bought a single thing from me all season long. You don't know me. So you know what? <laughs> For this one shot here, this one opportunity, I'm actually gonna do so I'm actually gonna do something ridiculous here. I'm you, you the instant cash jackpot is not gonna be eleven thousand dollars. I'm gonna make it worth fifty thousand bucks. Fifty thousand bucks. You have a chance to play for the cost of your lead of twenty dollars. If you open the one of the other two boxes, I'll give you a thousand dollars instead of the five hundred. Fifty thousand if you want to play for it. It's gonna cost you your twenty dollar lead. Buzz in if you want it. Going once. You're not, you're not Going twice. Do it. No sale. Really? Okay. I'm trying to get to the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, but you realize had you got the fifty as you played for it and you won the fifty grand. That would have put you into second place on the high score leaderboard, taking you off the bubble. But you could guess at it, see if I would have gotten. Yeah, you could have. What number would you have picked? Three. Number three. Let's see. Was Where was it? Two. It was in number two. It, yeah, you would have got you a thousand bucks there, but hey, that's okay. You wanted to hold in lead, that's fine. You keep that. We had another thousand of the jackpot, making it worth twelve thousand. Next time we play for the instant cash. We continue on with our game. Rodney with 55, Sonny at 33, AJ at 35. This question for $5. Players, what is the name of Fred Flintstone's wife? One. Sonny. Two. Wilma. Wilma! You're right. <laughs> All right, on which part of the butt, on what part of the human body are taste buds located? Three. Rodney. Your tongue. Tongue is correct. You go up to 60. A lazy person is sometimes referred to as a couch... Two. AJ? Potato. Couch potato is what we're looking for. You're right. You jump up to 40. All right, players. Time for our third and final fame game. We have a 10, a 15. We're now adding a $25 money card to the board. $25 on this one as we... Looking for this famous person. Famous person, buzz in when you think you know the answer. I'm a character in a TV series. My obsessions are fresh fruit and golf. Preferring to strike, my only job was in a bagel shop. I have many schemes for inventions and making money. I live in New York City. My first name is Cosmo. I am friends with the soup Nazi. Michael Two. AJ. Kramer. Cosmo Kramer is correct. You got it. Good job, AJ. All right, AJ, you can take the lead. You can find that $25 money card. Uh, six and seven are the numbers off the board. What number would you like? One. Number one. Behind the number one, we have $25 money card. Whoa! Good job, Whoa. AJ. Nice and done. <laughs> That puts AJ up to $65, $5 lead over Rodney. Sonny's got 38 mm -hmm. as we make it to our final portion of the speed round. May I have 60 seconds of the clock, please? Rapid fire, guys. Do as many as I can. And again, you can't buzz in until I finish reading the first question. That's when the time will start. Good luck to all three of you. We finish with the speed round with this. Who starred in the 1977 disco movie Saturday Night Fever? So three. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Which city is the Empire State Building located? Sonny. Right. Which of these insects is also a sport played in England? Locust, croc, Sonny. Crickets, right. What's the shortest month of the year? Sonny. February is right. 
What does the letter S stand for on the abbreviation S A A S A P? One. Sonny. Soon. Soon is correct. New Orleans is famous for which festival held before the One. Rodney. Marty. Right. What president resigned due to the Watergate scandal? One. Sonny. Three. Wrong. Oh, uh, what? Next. Where did the village people say it was fun to stay? One. Rodney. Wild right. Three. What's the name of Santa's red-nosed reindeer? One. Sonny. Three. Right. Wool is sheared off what animal? What? AJ. Uh, wool. Wrong. Country star Kenny Rogers saying what? And that's time. Rodney wins the game. Go back to the couple you guys missed there. Um, wool is sheared off of what animal? That oh, I didn't understand what you were saying. Yep. I didn't hear. I thought you said something. No, it was, it, was, it, was, it was sheep. I thought, what, said, I thought you said wolf. Not no, wolf. wool. No. And uh, what president resigned due to the Watergate it was scandal? Nixon. It wasn't Reagan. It was I Nixon know. there. Yeah, I know. So at the end of the round, that gives Ronnie the win today with seventy dollars. Congratulations to you. Play the bonus round in just a moment. Thank you. Sonny, you did Thank really you. well for yourself though on the show. You you picked up that awesome trip. You've got um, cash in front of you with the prizes. Your total up for the season now is up to eighty two thousand eight hundred eighty two dollars. So congratulations to you. Thank you. That is a nice total for three games worth. All right, AJ. You you came really, really close there at the end of picking up the victory there, but fortunately things just didn't quite fall your way. But you're not leaving here empty-handed. You got those nice prices along with the cash in front of you. Gives your your season total now up to $37,090, sir. Congratulations to you. Thank you, Brandon. And with that, folks, we're going to take another quick commercial break. When we come back, Sale of the Century Round is on the way next, so stay tuned with us. We're back here on sale of the century today. Ronnie's our champion with $247,206. And now he's going to take a shot to see if he can win over $100,000 of cash and prizes off our winner's big money bar. Ronnie, come on over here. Yeah. yeah, that one was very close. All three of you did a really good job there. But now we're going to see if you can take home some more prizes on today's winner's big money board. Let's see those prizes you'll be playing for. All right, for $80, you can win a brand new spa worth $5,900. For $190, you can win a library worth $6,137. For $200, you can win an entertainment wall unit with 50 inch HGTV worth over $7,000. For $310, you can win a brand new sailboat worth almost $10,000. For $420, you can win a Toyota Tundra worth $25,000. For $530, you can win a trip to Indochina worth $29,542. For $640, you win the $50,000 cash prize. And for $750, you win everything on the board plus the cash prize for a total of $133,821 today on sale of the century. All right, Rodney, for every $10 you earn in the main game, we'll give you a $1 head start toward that $750 goal. You finish with $70, bucks, so we'll put $7 in your bank. You get five picks of the board here, numbers from 1 to 25, cash amounts behind them from mm -hmm. $5 to $250. Get to $750, I give you everything on the stage. All right. All right, go ahead and make your first pick. Good luck to you. Okay, let's go... What number? Eleven. All right, number eleven. What do we have behind number eleven? Thirty dollars. Mm, Thirty dollars. Okay. Okay. Let's make it. Uh, let's do twelve. Twelve. Right next door. What do we have behind number twelve? Fifty dollars. A little better. You're up to eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Okay. Let's get some big amounts here. Let's go with number three. Number three. What do we have behind number three? Ten dollars. I have to ninety-seven dollars now. Mm, seventeen. Number seventeen. What do we have behind seventeen? 
Twenty dollars, right? You're up to one hundred seventeen dollars now. One more pick, sir. Wow. Wow, I'm having bad luck. Eighteen. I, I kind of like it. Eight. Eighteen. What do we have behind eighteen? Two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh. There's a big one. That's gonna get you that sailboat worth almost ten thousand dollars, sir. Nicely done. Now here's the th here's the catch. You can stop, take the sailboat, and sail off into the sunset, or you can risk it and go for one and uh, two envelopes here. If you find the second chance card inside of it, you get two more picks of the board. However, if you find the lose half, you lose half your winnings, and you're gonna drop down to hundred and eighty three dollars. So. Take so it, what do you want to do? It, Stop and take, take the boat, it, take or do you want to risk it? Go for it, pick an envelope. I have to go for it. Go for it. All right. Which envelope would you like, A or B? A. All right. Good luck to you, Liz. What do we have in envelope A? Second chance. No. So you guarantee okay. you're guaranteed at least the sailboat now. But if you can find two of the two hundred fifty dollar cards. You can walk out of here with everything on stage. Number six. All right, number six. What do we have by number six? Two hundred dollars. That's five sixty-seven. If you can find another two hundred or higher, you win everything on stage. <sighs> Twenty-three. I hope. 23, we want to see 200 or bigger to, for, to win everything on the stage. 23! $50. Oh, wow. No, that's okay. Uh, you okay. finished with $617. That is going to give you that fabulous trip to Indochina. So we're going to take out $530 for that. Plus, it leaves you $87 in the bank. We're going to give you $100 for each dollar left up there. So that's another $8,700 in cash added to that. Everything you want here, plus you're added to your previous winnings, Rodney, you now have a season total of $285,448. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Still in third place, right? It would keep you in third place as of right now. You're still about 15000 behind nails right now as we go into our final <laughs> episode. So we're going to see what happens next time we get our final game before the end of the season here on Sale the Century of that championship game. I want to hope you guys will tune in for that. And I want to thank everybody here for playing. Thank you guys at home for watching. Remember, if you like the series, click that like button down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button there. That way you can never miss an episode of Sale the Century or any of the great game shows I have here at MVG Production. And until the instant bargains come your way once again, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on Sale of the Century. Take care. Bye for now, folks. All the prizes used on Sale of the Century are manufacturer suggested retail price accurate as of time or take. This is Michael Gentry speaking. Sales of the Century is an MGG production.